Hey guys, check out G2A.com for cheap games. There's a link and discount code in the description down below. So guys, we're coming to the end of 2015, and that gave me the idea to do a video basically talking about what I think is going to be coming in the future for Forza Motorsports. So, I thought today we would go in, talk about Forza Motorsports 6, and some things that I think might be coming to the game. Alan and I actually worked together and put together an awesome article for you guys over on the AR12 Gaming website. There's a link to it in the description down below. And basically it covers everything from the monthly car packs, to the updates, to future expansions and tracks, and even Forza Horizon 3. So check out that article in the description down below. Anyway, so you can check out that article. I thought we would focus on one part of it in this video in particular. One part that I thought you guys would find particularly interesting, and that is a possible drift expansion for Forza Motorsport 6. So as we all know, since Forza Motorsport 5, people have been dying for two things in particular. One, the Nissan S14, and two, Fujimi. If you don't know about either of these things, Fujimi was one of the most popular drift tracks back in Forza 4. It was basically a mountain drift track and was incredibly cool in every single way. A Nissan S14 is fairly cool, except it's the drift- it's a car version of the track. It's insanely cool and it's just amazing, and, and I want one really badly. So Alan and I actually came to the conclusion that it's very possible that a drift expansion might be coming for two reasons in particular. So I thought we would talk about those today. So some of you guys may know my good friend Dan Greenewalt, who uh, is new to Twitter. He got a Twitter account recently in the year, and he's been replying to fans over there for quite some time. One of the things he tweeted recently, or not so recently actually, was this. He said, I hear you and we've seen the fans, especially the Drift fans request for Fujimi, steering angle tuning, and other features. We've also heard requests for more racetracks, career improvements, and pre-race tuning and practicing. So it's pretty interesting that a guy like Dan Greenwalt would go out there and particularly call out the Drift fans and Fujimi together in the same sort of thing saying they're listening. That's pretty damn interesting. You guys may know the very famous track, the track that I'm actually drifting here, Circuit of the Americas is a brand new track to Forza, and it was actually implemented because of the fan feedback that they heard. That wasn't the only thing Dan tweeted though, he's gone on record to say some other interesting things. Another interesting tweet that Dan made was actually replying to a fan talking about the tracks. There was a long conversation about tracks, and basically a bunch of people were chiming in about what their favorite tracks were. And one fan chimed in and said, my favorite track was Fujimi. That track was absolutely legendary. Dan actually replied to this fan who said Fujimi was actually legendary, and he said, Dan said, Believe me, Bob, your thoughts on these matters are abundantly clear. Winky face. Dan, you can't just leave a winky face there and not expect people like me to get excited. That's pretty cool. Dan's gone on record to say a bunch of very interesting things over Twitter, so just read his Twitter and you will find some fairly interesting things there. Just think of it, how amazing would it be to have Fujimi back in Forza Motorsport 6? Just imagine the drifting at night and the toge would be back. I just get wet like thinking of it, it's that good. Anyways, let's get off Fujimi and uh, let's start talking about the S14. So some of you guys may actually remember a different Sylvia actually. The 1966 Sylvia was actually just put into Forza Motorsport 6 by accident, actually. It wasn't actually supposed to be in the recent update, and there wasn't actually supposed to be a free car this month, but it snuck in accidentally. So hey, it's possible that they're also working on some secret things that just sort of sneak in at very sneaky times and be sort of cheeky and just appear. So we'll see, maybe S14 might pop up there. But, but something else that was pretty interesting about the S14, it was actually featured in a recent feature of Heavy Metal Affliction, which is actually a, a, a news post that goes on the Forza website written by Forza people and things like that. If you read it, it's basically all about drifting and it's just a massive, massive tease for an S14 possibly coming to Forza. It's just like, please give it to me. Oh. Anyways, so those are some recent things that have been happening in the Forza universe that may lead to a possible drift expansion or something similar I would be so excited if that was a thing. It definitely seems possible. We know the drifting community is there, especially on YouTube. It's huge. So to be quite honest, I don't really see a reason why not. It would make a huge amount of people happy. And I think to be honest, it would just be a lot of fun to have some of these fan favorite tracks in like Fujimi, Maple Valley, 
and some of these cars that people have been requesting for a very, very long time. The Koenigsegg 1 to 1, for instance, has been requested forever, and now it's in the game, and people are just loving it. I think the S4 team would be very similar to that. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts on the possible drift expansion for Forza Motorsport 6. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and if you could have one feature for a possible drift expansion, what would it be? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out Alan's awesome article talking all about Forza and what's going to be happening in 2016. Check it out. There's a link in the description down below. Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Then after that, what's happening is basically for every race, uh, the team captains for every they single They all have AR on their hood. Okay. These paint jobs are made by our very, very cool- Oh, he's taking his team 